system. You can't change this from the inside. It's a racist system. Just give up like that? No. Wow, this is a hell of a spreadsheet. You guys did a really PogChamp job with this. Gentlemen, I have to say, you guys pwned me, epic style. It's a Pyrex, wouldn't it be able to withstand extreme temperatures? It would, but I'm just thinking we'd be able to withstand your roommate carelessly pulling you out of the break. I mean, you're okay, that's your fair. I don't want to eat this. <laughs> oh, it smells so gross. What's the, what are the consequences of uh, too much nutmeg? Something like that. I uh, revisit Crazy Ex-Girlfriend a few times here now and then to just like... It, it's astonishing in its quality. Like, uh, it, it manages to write these really interesting, complex characters that don't feel like they're just essays. And I feel like a lot of times when you're, when you're like, watching these, uh, I don't know, these, these quirky shows, these, like, CW-type shows, every character is either, well, time to reference whatever vaguely public domain media property is popular now, or, uh, you know, they've got their monologue, their big soliloquy that talks about everything that they're all about, and they're read, just giving that out on the curbside. But Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, I think, is... I don't know, it just, there's a certain je ne sais quoi, which I did not expect from the show that gave me a song about how healthy some guy's sperm is.
Every single night's a fun. Every single night's a fight. Every single fight's alright with my brain. This isn't good. I'm done. Oh god, I can't take this fucking... Ugh. Like, when you combine them, it gets fucking more... Oh my god. I feel physically ill. Oh no, she will not let you in. Oh, Chris. Okay. From now on, all night long, to treat your daddy wrong. Okay, I need to practice more. <laughs>